Hello everyone. We are the Paradox. Welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, we want to learn how to animate a character from T pose to our favorite pose, and then transfer it to Marvelous Designer. After that, we are going to simulate the character, while she is wearing clothes. In this tutorial, we use DAS Studio and Marvelous Designer software. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, subscribe to it and hit the notification button, so you do not miss our future videos. Well, let's go. Well, first, we open DAS Studio software. When we open DAS Studio, we encounter such a scene. Now, from the left corner of the page, we see the content library section. We select on the DAS library. We select on the people section. For what we want to do, we can choose any genesis we want, there are no restrictions and there is no problem. We select genesis 8, we add it to the scene, we wait until load. Well, here genesis 8 has been added to the scene. Now the next thing we have to do, is select the animate light from the bottom left, where we specify, how many seconds the animation should take, that is, how many seconds does the process, during which our character goes from A pose to T pose mode take. That is, this animation that starts from A pose, and ends in our desired pose, how many seconds should take, and we can specify how many seconds we want it. We set it to 3 seconds. See the timeline? This shows the frames here for us. What we have to do here is, that we put it on the last frame, and here we can manually specify a pose for the character, or we can select a pose from the ones that Genesis itself has, and give it to the character. Here we use the default poses of Genesis 8, and choose one for it. When you want to pose for a character, or you want to add hair, or shoes, or things like that, you have to select Genesis 8, or any other Genesis you work with before that, and then add that hair, shoes, or pose to it. So first, we select on Genesis 8 here, and then we add the pose to the scene, and as we see, our character has become that pose, and has taken this pose to herself. Now here, if we click on the play button, and we will see that within 3 seconds, it will be transferred from the A pose mode, to the pose we intended. We stop here. The next thing we have to do is to remove the eyelash, so that it does not cause problems during the animation. Now our next task is to get the output. Here we click on Genesis. It should be in FBX format, because the animation is transferred with FBX, and if we output it with OBJ format, no animation will be displayed for us, so make sure that your output is in FBX format. We save the output as FBX1. Be sure to note here that the animation is checked here. Set the rest to default. We get output. We wait for the output to be done. Now our work in Dozen Studio is finished. Well, we open the Marvelous Designer here. From the import section and the FBX section, we enter the file that we saved as FBX1. We are waiting for the file to be added, the character will be added to our scene. Make sure that the animation is checked, and set the scale on DAS Studio. In the next step, you will see the simulation at the top right. 
click and select the animation part from there. Now you see that the animation is displayed for us, because of the FBX file, but if it was OBJ, you would not watch the animation here. Because I do not want the video to be too long, we use the default costumes, which are in Marvelous Library itself, to see how the costumes are when we animate the character. Here, we adjust the costumes to the character. After all, this character is not from the Marvelous Designer's characters, so the Marvelous clothes do not fit this character, so we have to manually adjust these clothes for her. The Add option should be clicked here, because if we hit the Open option, pants will be added to the scene, and other items such as characters, and shirts will be removed from the scene. Here, as you can see, we adjust the pants for the character. Now, if we want the shirt to be on the pants, the shirt must have a higher layer of pants, so we put the shirt on layer 1 and less. If we want the pants to be on the shirt, the layer of the pants should be one number higher than the shirt, but because we want the shirt to be on the pants, we move the shirt to layer 1. And we put the pants on the same default state that is layer 0. We simulate here and we see that the shirt on the pants. We hide the shirt to see if the pants have a problem or not. Well, the pants do not have a problem. Now the next thing we have to do is, lower the particle distance to show the wrinkles more realistically. We put the particle distance on 10, and simulate it as you can see. Here. The wrinkles created on the clothes are realistic. We return to the animation section here. As you can see, if we select the play option, only the character moves and in fact, the costume does not move with it, and what we have to do is select the option called the record. We select on the record as you see. The character with the costume will be animated in the position we gave her, and also in the time, we have specified for her. There are a few things to keep in mind. First of all, if you do not have a very strong system, don't put the particle distance less than 10, because in this case the animation takes a long time to finish, and these 3 seconds of animation, may take several minutes for you, but if you have a strong system, you can lower the particle distance to less than 10. It will become more realistic, next thing is, to be sure to try to transfer the file you take, from DAS Studio to Marvelous Designer in FBX format, and it is not OBJ, because the animation will be shown to us in FBX mode, if the file in the form of OBJ enters Marvelous Designer. The animation will not be shown to us. Delete the eyelash in DAS Studio, because if you do not delete them, during the animation, they will separate from the character, and this causes a series of problems in the animation. The next thing is when you choose a pose, where the character's hands or legs is very close to her body, it causes problems in the simulation of the costume, and the costume in that angle cannot be simulated well. Here we end our animation as you can see. Our costume, along with the character, is transferred to the pose we gave it to her, and we see that here, due to the low particle distance, the wrinkles that have been added have become very realistic.
and here you can see if we select on the play, and also click the repeat option, and we will see that our costume is simulated with the character, and transferred from a pose to the pose we gave it to her, as you can see, the wrinkles that are created on the costume, during the animation are realistic, and this the case largely depends on the particle distance number. If it was on 20, wrinkles would not be so realistic on the cloth. As we can see, we see that wrinkles are created on the pants as well. Well, here we are. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope that this video has added something to your information, and you have learned something from this video. If you like such tutorials, Tell us in the comments, to make more tutorials like this in the future, and if you like it, you can share it with your friends. Thank you very much for your support. Have a good day.